Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're in Mission Viejo, California today. I'm with Brian Schelke from Cleveland Golf. How's it going, Brian? Good, how are you? Thanks for having me, Chris. Good to see you. Yeah, you too. We are out today talking about brand new RTX 4 wedges. Uh, I know you're super excited about this. A lot's yeah. gone into this product. And uh, we're gonna talk about now some of the changes over RTX 3. Yeah, and even before maybe we get into the changes um, from RTX 3, RTX 4 is a really cool wedge for us. We've, we've been able to do some different things because we have both the Cleveland CBX and Smart Soul. You know, we really believe at Cleveland Golf that golfers have different playing abilities, you know, from tee to green. In their short game, not everyone's the same. Some people need more versatility, some people need more forgiveness. So we really have a full range of wedges, you know, from recreational, higher handicap golfers in the Smart Soul to kind of golfers who play cavity back irons with the CBX. And then by offering those two lines of wedges, we've been able to make uh, RTX 4 even more kind of better player driven, compact, versatile, and it's really exciting for us. Yeah, one of the first things I noticed having played RTX 3 wedges in the RTX 4 is this is really a different shape. And a lot of that came from your tour players. Yeah, exactly. We went out to tour really early with RTX 4 prototypes had, you know, hundreds of different shapes, sole grinds, face types, and really one of the things that, um, you know, some feedback we got was to make it a little more compact, a little bit less offset, specifically in the shorter or the lower lofted wedges, and we've done that, and it's really led to quick tour adoption, you know. All our guys are already switched into RTX 4s. They've been playing them for a while and just love them. And you know, with RTX 3, they were still really popular as well. And one of the reasons was the face and spin technologies, as well as field balancing technology. And I know you guys have made some tweaks there to improve those components of the wedge even more. Yeah, exactly. And you'll see it, I mean, it's pretty visual on the face itself once you get them in your hands. But our fourth generation Rotex face is the, the most aggressive face we've made. And really what we're trying to do is get more consistent spin from all lies. So whether you're in the fairway, the rough, bunker, we want the ball to come out the same every time to give golfers the same spin, same control and distance control. And by having a more aggressive face, sharper grooves, we've been able to tighten kind of that spin window so people hit it with more consistent spin on every shot, have better distance control, and ultimately get it closer to the hole. Yeah, and field balancing technology, for those who maybe need a refresher, was that in traditional wedge design, a lot of weight was in the hosel, longer hosels, and it sort of sucked the center of gravity yeah. towards the heel, where ideally we want to hit the ball in the center of the face. You guys have made some changes, even more changes with this, to really get sort of the center of gravity behind the impact area, which is providing great feel. Yeah, exactly. Feels critical in wedges, as you know. and. Um, so we've been able to move the center of gravity through some subtle shaping. We have actually a hosel micro cavity, so there's a little weight taken out of the hosel and redistributed to better places. Um, you can kind of see the back flange is a little bit of a unique shape. And all that's doing is subtly shifting weight towards the center of the wedge to get the center of gravity in line with exactly where you strike the ball. And so that leads to better feel when you hit it, but it also leads to better consistency. When the center of gravity is in the center of the wedge face, if you do hit it a little bit on the heel or toe, the ball still comes out um, with, a consistent, with a consistent ball speed. Yeah, and I got to do some testing earlier with these, and the feel was fantastic. And one of the other things that stood out to me was especially with the lob wedge and the sand wedge, how easy it was to sort of flight the ball kind of into a lower window, which is I know what the tour players like, better players like, and you've done some things with the center of gravity in terms of the depth on the face to help sort of make it easier to control flight. It's actually a unique kind of weighting for every loft and every sole grind. When you change a loft, when you change a sole grind from our full to our low to our X low, it adjusts the weight. So we have a unique kind of back flange weighting to compensate for the different weight in the sole that really dials in the center of gravity exactly where we want, not just for one loft and one sole grind, but for every loft and every sole grind. And we're gonna do a separate video and really get into each sole grind and who sort of the perfect candidate is for each. But one of the things that people need to know about RTX 4, RTX 3 and all the different sort of bounce angle models had the, uh, the V-Sole. Yeah. This is a little bit different this year. 
Yeah, so we still think the VSOL works great. It works for a lot of people. And so our two dot mid bounce wedge features kind of that, that V shaped sole. At the same time, there are some people who prefer more of a full sole or a C sole. And really, by going out on tour really early, having hundreds of different sole grinds out there, having doing more testing than we ever have before, we have four unique sole grinds to fit pretty much every player in golf. Yeah. And three finishes again. We've got a, a chrome, a raw, and a uh, black satin. Yep, yeah, black satin, tour satin, and tour raw. All three refinements of our previous generation, subtle improvements, um, one both for durability and then also the sheen and look. Um, so yeah, three great finishes. And sort of completing the package as a real sort of tour-inspired, better player's wedge. Uh, tour issue dynamic old S400 shafts, which is a really premium aftermarket shaft and maybe the most popular wedge shaft in golf. Yeah, so, you know, if we're designing the head for tour guys, if we're designing the shape, the feel balancing, all for better players, we wanted to make the components um, for better players as well. So we have the number one wedge shaft on the PJ Tour in the dynamic old Tour Issue S400, and then the number one wedge grip on the PJ Tour with the Golf Pride Tour Velvet. So really giving the complete package, you know, from head to shaft to grip. Yeah, and also one of the things we talked about earlier when we were doing some testing is that uh, what you've done with the leading edges varies based on loft too in order to help players maximize performance with the types of shots they want to hit. Yeah, exactly. You'll notice, especially on the lower lofted wedges, the 46s, 48, 50 degrees, it's a little bit of a straighter leading edge. And that's just because most shots are hit with a square face on those. They're more gap wedges. You know, you hit them on full shots or, you know, at least square face. So we have a straighter leading edge just to help that alignment. And then as you get towards the higher lofted wedges, the 58, 60 degrees, we have a little bit of a rounder leading edge. So that way you can open the face up, but it doesn't look like the wedge is pointing straight right. You know, that kind of, that smile or that leading edge radius really helps um, for open face shots with the lob wedges. Brian, great information and great looking wedges. We appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Chris.